This excerpt is brought to you by josephprince.com. To get the full message, visit josephprince.com. In heavenly armor we'll enter the land. The battle belongs to the Lord. No weapon that's fashioned against us will stand. The battle belongs to the Lord. We sing glory, honor, power and strength to the Lord. We sing glory, honor, power and strength to the Lord. Power and strength to the Lord. When the power of darkness comes in. Like a flood The battle belongs to the Lord He's raised up a standard The power of His blood The battle belongs to the Lord Sit down if you can, come on Fear. The battle belongs to the Lord. Take courage, my friend, your redemption is near. The battle belongs they to the Lord. the battle is the Lord. David said to Goliath, the battle is the Lord's. We won't touch it. It is the Lord's. Amen. What are you battling with? Symptoms in your body, depression, worries, cares, a loved one. Just say, Lord, this is your battle. Say it right now. The Lord, He is a fighter and this is His battle. The battle is the Lord's. Say, Lord, this is your battle. Yeah, picture that trial that you're going through right now. Whatever it is, whether it's a physical symptom in your body, just say, Lord, this is your battle. I'll just praise you, Lord. I'll just praise you. I'll just praise you and worship you, Lord. Come on, hallelujah! Psalms 3 says, How are they increased that trouble me? Many are they that rise up against me. Many are they that say of my soul, There is no help for him in God. But
David fled instead of fighting because it was a king. The king of Israel pursued him and David would not lift his sword against the king. So David went to the cave Adullam. And in Adullam, the Bible tells us that everyone who was in debt, everyone who was in distress, everyone who was discontented, the 3D army came to David. So David became the gathering center. Jesus says, come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. And those are the men that became the mighty men of David that you read about in 2 Samuel 23. They came to him, and like David, they became as he is. As we worship the Lord, we see the Lord in his beauty. As he is, so are you. We are transformed by beholding. Do you know the Bible says of King Saul that his leadership was such that the people followed him trembling? He was the leader of the flesh and the people followed him trembling. And yet the people that followed David became mighty men. Be careful who you follow, even in leadership. But this is a picture of the greatest son of David, our Lord Jesus. None will tremble but our enemies when you follow Jesus. Amen? With the words of David in Psalms 25, I'd like for you to take a seat right now. It's your Selah moment. How would you like to hear David singing in Hebrew? The very words of Psalms 25. Sit back. Your Selah moment. Rachecha Adonai Hori Eni Or Chotecha Hamde Hadricheni Baamitecha Velamdeni Velam Deni Ki Ata Elohim Ishni Ata Elohim Ishni Od Haki Viti Hakiviti Kohayo Drachecha Adonai Hori Or Chodecha Lamde Hadricheni Amen. Stand to your feet. This is a song that David sang to the Lord when he was in the cave. And the Bible says he fled to go to this cave. And in your Psalms, sometimes you have titles to your Psalms. David, when he fled from Absalom. And yet you find a man of faith trusting the Lord. And this was a song that he sang. It says, when David fled, 
And the Bible says he departed to the cave Adullam. And the Bible says that all the, the people that were discontented, in debt, in distress, they heard him sing. Leadership doesn't drive, leadership leads. Leadership inspires and sets the example. And the people saw how David worshipped and they became worshippers. Being a giant healer is just incidental. When you are a worshipper, you become a successful businessman. When you are a worshipper, you are an achiever. In your studies, whatever you do, God prospers you.